Hey everyone, this is Chinmay, and in this video, uh, I'm going to talk about my ongoing GoLang authentication series, where I'm writing a authentication system, like a basic authentication system using GoLang, Redis, Docker, Postgres, and everything. So as of now, this series like contains just login, sign up, and like saving the sessions cookies and signing up a user signing in a user and like logging out a user so I have not implemented the password reset yet but I'm going to do that in an upcoming video but before that I think that once we will be completing the series there won't be much to explore it like with the series so uh, I thought in order to make it interesting let's implement some real-time features or make it make it a full stack full stack project while adding some real-time features to this series so what I thought to do this in the next video I will try to set up a, a third party service or library or like a tool you, you can say which is which is called like pusher and pusher we use to implement real time backend like to implement real time features in our application like we are mainly having like web sockets and firebase and the third one like the I mean there might be more but the third one I know is pusher so pusher is a service like uh, based on elixir and using channels to make real time features for an application so i'm going to use that and and pusher is like mainly being used by like on the back end side and from the back end you trigger some events on a particular channel and all the users who have subscribed to that particular channel will be listening for the real-time data or the real-time updates that's how pusher work so i want to i wanted to explore it like previously i have worked with real-time features but using firebase and web sockets in the case of web sockets you have to like set up on the client side and the backend side both and setting up the web sockets and handling them a little i mean are not very much easy when it comes to make a make a scalable solution so handling a large number of websocket connection you have to manage the authentication authorization by yourself and you have to like be you have to manage the latency and uh, like many more things related to websockets and implementation of websockets with almost like like if if you change the backend language the, the your implementation of web websockets like will get changed by its itself but that's not the case with pusher no matter with what type of backend language java python or go you are using pusher all you have to do you have to trigger some events on on some channels and whatever client whoever uh, as a client if listening for that particular channel or a particular event can get the real time data on the client side so all you have to do with pusher you have to set it up using pusher client side library based on your client in our case we'll be using next.js so you have to set it up like it did, which is very easy on your client side and then like in a, in my case because i will be using next.js so i'll be listening for it like uh, in use effect and whenever i will get a update or like whenever a particular url handled by a handler function on golang will trigger some event on a particular channel on my client side if i am listening for that particular event on a channel then i will re-render my ui in real time so all the data all the like ui will get changed in 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 real time that's how pusher works so you do not emit any event from the client side you just 
emit it from the back end so the application i i want to build with it it's a simple application like i just want to create a dashboard for uh, rendering the logging in and the logging out users in real time so there will be a simple dashboard where i will just i will be rendering all the logged in users and the logging out users in real time so whenever you you log in from the client side you you should get or you 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 should get appeared on the client side in the real time and if you log out then the ui will get a re-render re and we delete the uh, user from the list so this will be a very simple application where we'll be listing out all the logged in users and logged out users in real time using nextjs golang and the pusher so this kind of project basically i want to make and yeah uh, like if you talk about like how pusher works with golang so as i previously said uh, all you need to do you need to set it up on the back end and you need to make some channels on the pusher dashboard and then you no need to emit events from the client side all you need to do you have to trigger something like some event on some channel from the back end side and uh, that will be as a response of http request from the client side so from the client side you just have to make an http request simple request like when we set up web sockets by ourselves we have two kind of server http server and the web socket server but in the case of pusher we, we just have we are just having a http server and from the next js client you have to make a http request to your backend and whenever like when you will hit that particular http request endpoint the handler function in, in golang which which is handling that endpoint will trigger a pusher event like after processing your logic your business logic will push or will trigger a pusher event on a pusher channel and then send a response the next send a http response and all the clients are listening for that particular event changes on that channel will get updated so that so that's how it works and uh, we will try to implement that in my upcoming videos so, i mean in my upcoming mean like in the very next video so in the very next video we will write code for this explanation so today in this video all i want to do like i just wanted to explain how pusher works and how we will be like using it so yeah that's all you can watch the video i'm trying to explain all the things making diagrams and if you are having any doubt feel free to comment and yeah meanwhile enjoy the explanation what i am doing on this on on the screen and i think uh, i don't like to speak much so like i, I just like to do the things over the screen and that's what i am i'm doing so in this video like uh, whatever i ha i have explained it in law like that so web, web talk server everything uh, you can uh, see that on the screen and if you are having doubt just feel free to ask me so yeah thank you so much